Hi friends, in this video, we will talk about thermal properties of solids. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe and subscribe. First, we will talk about heat capacity. We will talk about the specific heat capacity. We will talk about the specific heat capacity. We will talk about the specific heat capacity. Constant volume and constant pressure. First point, in the case of solid, two specific heats don't differ very much, especially at low temperature. So, if we look at the low temperature, we will see the solid in the solid. We will see the specific heat in the solid. When sudden energy is added to solid, the increase in its energy occurs in two ways. So, if we provide energy in the solid, we will see the two ways in the solid. We will see the energy in the solid. First, we will see the atoms assumed to be free to vibrate so one is free to vibrate second pakkam bodhu free electron may be excited thermally to higher energy state so electron free electron enna pannik idha energy vaangi to higher energy state pohudhu higher energy state pohudhu so idha maa rendu vidha maa nadakudhu adhuk aparam two contribution to the specific heat of solids one is resulting from atomic vibration in the crystal inno one vandhu pakkam bodhu the contribution from the electronic system so rendu contribution enna solra Orang na, orang na atomik vibration nada kerana nala, inno orang tu pakai modul electronic system tulah nada kerana contribution nala abdin suli solr orang specific heat of solid sila. Adik apa orang, ini orang tu classical theory abdin pakai modul two lang petit sila. In classical theory lah, according to two lang and petit sila, specific heat is the same for all the elementary solid, which is equal to six calorie per mole per degree Kelvin. At above room temperature, that is the room temperature, it is the same as the room temperature, it is the same as the room temperature, elementary solids are the same as the room temperature, that is the same as the room temperature, 6 per mole per degree Kelvin is equal to the room temperature, this is due long petits, classical theory will explain it. Quantum mechanics will be seen in Einstein theory, the simple crystal is recorded as an aggregate of atomic oscillator which vibrates independently with the same natural frequency and the allowed energy state of this oscillation or integral multiple of H nu so this is main and vibrate tower independent vibrate tower on the same natural frequency that is the integral multiple of H nu that is the energy state that is the Debye's theory the interaction between vibrating particle and showed that the discrepancy between Einstein result and the observation could be removed the discrepancy is the interaction between vibrating particles the discrepancy is the removal of the use of the use so this is the theory in the classical theory, I will tell you about the equations in the main article. The atomic oscillator vibrates with the same frequency but their energy is different because the vibrates vary in amplitude. So, the energy formula is P2 by 2m plus V of R. V of R is 1 by 2m omega naught square x squared. Here, the oscillator can vibrate with three mutually perpendicular axes. So, mean energy is about 3k bt. In three mutual perpendicular axis, we vibrate with that. E bar is 3k bt. Internal energy is equal to 3nk bt. So, u is equal to 3nk bt. So, 3rt. So, cv is equal to du by dtv equal to 3r. Now, we will do 3r. So, cv is equal to 3rk. So, CV value, R is the constant value, 8.315 calorie per mole degree Kelvin. So, if we substitute it, we will get 5.96. If the atomic number of element is greater than 40, at and above room temperature is correct. So, if we say calorie per mole degree Kelvin, we will get joule per Kelvin. So, now we will get thermal properties of solids. பாத்திருக்கும் இன்று வீடியும் உங்கள் பிடிச்சின்சின்னான் like பண்ணுங்க, comment பண்ணுங்க, share பண்ணுங்க, மறக்காம் subscribe பண்ணுங்க, thank you.